welcome to another Steampunk Tuesday. I'm Laverne and this is Shirley. <laughs> After fantastic feedback from the Theatre of Curiosities uh, journals I did last week, I have after being asked lots of times a Theatre of Curiosities digi download ephemera set. Ooh. It's brilliant. Shall we show them then? Why not? Let's get cracking. And action. It was like a proper Hollywood movie then when you said action. I was waiting for the fly to buzz past. Oh yeah, we had a fly buzz past early when we had a previous go at this. Before <laughs> the dog, dog started barking at the postman. <laughs> As I said earlier, the Theatre of Curiosities was very popular last week with the uh, the journal flick through that I did. Yes. Um, and quite a lot of you have asked for, is it going to be a digi download set? Well, For the ephemera. For the ephemera. Well, yes, there is actually. I have a 15 page PDF here. That's a lot. It is a lot of all the ephemera, etc. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do is I'll run through everything with you and show mm -hmm. you what it is. Okay. Would you be so kind as to pop that to safely, one side? It's safely to one, safely one to side. Because that's paid for already. It is already, <laughs> yes. All right, I need you to listen now and pay attention, especially you at the back. Yes, Diane says I'm talking to you. <laughs> Put your sweeties down and listen. Okay, so we have the sheets of the journaling cards. Yes. I'm showing you the fronts and I'll explain to you why I'm just showing you the fronts. The backs are printed as well and I'll explain to that in a minute. Okay. So you have four sheets of those. These are the, the foldable they journaling cards. Should we show them one done? Yep. If I can find one flicking through the yeah. go. Okay. Mr. Jacobson. So you've got basically you've just seen that. Page sorry. Page number five in the document is the back. Right. So what you need to do is when you've printed the first four pages, one to four, turn, over. turn them over and put them back in the printer. But remember to put wherever the top of the print the paper was when you put it into print the top of those cards, it will print the top of that. So, so it right. matches. Yeah. It's, it's it's oversized, so you should have no problems. Yes. And then you'll end up with cards that are printed on both sides. On both sides. Fantastic. There you go. So that's page one to four. So one to four is your Journaling squares. Mm -hmm. Page five is the back, and as if by magic, today you've already done it. I've already done it. Of course, easy to do. Yeah, uh, and it looks the business as well. Okay. Okay. So, so there's eight of side. those. There's eight of those cards. Excellent. Plus there is the tags yes. and the tall journaling cards yes. for all the other characters. So you've got one, two, mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. four. Mm -hmm. Five, mm -hmm. six. So you've got six different tags. Would you be so kind as to get one out of the book for me, please? I will. Thank you so much. So six different tags. Six different tags. Does that also mean there's six different ones of those thin, tall, it does, like bookmark yeah. things. So the bottom ones are those. So you just basically cut them out, put glue between, and back to back them. And the same with the tags. Uh -huh. I forgot where it tags are in the centre there. spread. There we go. Oh, there you go. I'll get you a tag. Thank you. Bear with. Bear with. Yes. Bear with. They're in the centre space. There we go. There. And the tags are just f creased, folded over, and glued. Indeed. Yeah. There and stuck did. And stuck did down. And obviously, you have pockets to put things in, which you'll come to in a moment. So you've got six of those as well. Uh huh. With having the toll tags, you need the six little stickers to go onto the pockets. Right. I'm using those tall envelopes that you stock. Oh, the, the little ones, the yes. mini envelopes. Yeah. And they all fit into there. Mm -hmm. And there's six of those. Six of those. Yeah. Plus you've got two different covers. That's the cover that I used on the journal. So that's the front, the journal front. Yep. Which is? Which is there. Yes. Or you can swap it for Ooh. Patricia. So you've got an exclusive. So you've got an exclusive there because it's made with, it comes with that made on it. Yeah. And that's just a special for you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then we come to pockets. Mm -hmm. On the document, yeah. ignore that, we've talked about that. Yeah. On the document you get two straight pockets yeah. and four corner pockets. Okay. For the purpose of this exercise, with all this ephemera, I'm going to print out the pockets three times. Okay. So, so we have one. Two, 
three. And three. You'll end up with extras of these as well, but... You can use them anyway. Use them anyway. Mm. Be nice bottom envelopes, to be honest. Yeah, or you could just use the little mini journaling cards if you want to. If you bought some little little no, little jotters, you could stick them on the front and give them away as gifts. Yeah, make your own, you know, yeah or you can turn them into little mini ATCs. This is true. And finally, but not, but not least, we have all the little tickets. Excellent And stuff. they took in the inside front and inside back covers on the journal themselves. Mm -hmm. So what I need to do now is to get this lot cut out. I will endeavour to keep all my fingers intact as well. And when I've got them all cut out, it will take me probably half an hour. But for yourselves there, I should be back in two shakes of a donkey's tail. Fantastic. But just before you go, if anybody's interested, um, there actually is 40 individual items there on that kit. Really? Yes. Golly golly gumdrops. Yes, I've just counted them up while we've been talking. I've just been doing a quick tally. Brilliant. So that doesn't include, obviously, if you do multiple pockets. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. what you're getting in the kit. So there's 40 different ephemera pieces. It's a lot, isn't there? It, it is, for one little journal. Well, yeah, we like to get them nice and full. You get your money's worth. Right, so I'll cut <laughs> these out. If you want to print yours out now and cut yours out, you can craft along with me. Okay, so there is a clickable link in the description area below this video to the Digi Download Kit. So all you have to do is to pop us on hold, go to the description, click it, buy it, print it. Sorry. Um, click it, buy it, download it, print it, cut it out, and then come back. Yeah. So I'll be back in two minutes. Yes. Well, I've got all the bits cut out. Yes, you've been a busy boy. There's a lot of them. Okay, so I've cut out all the pockets. Mm -hmm. Remembering that I have actually printed three sets of pockets, um, two sets extra. Right, so you printed that the pocket sheets multiple times. I have, yeah. Right, okay. So I've got my right hand ones. Mm hmm. With the keys. Yep, coming down. Coming down. And I have my left hand ones with the skulls going up. With the flowers. Yes. So what I've done with each one, I've put some construction tape or very strong double sided tape up the edges mm -hmm. to, for when I stick it down. Okay. All I need to do now with this one is just finish off the edges, just to distress the edges a little bit, just to give it okay. a slight yeah. vintage look. Don't, I don't want to, to go too mad with it, I just want it so there's not white edges showing. What, what is it we normally say? Distress to taste? Yes, yes indeed. So that's the pockets, mm -hmm. two sets of pockets. And then I, I've decided I'm going to use Patricia oh, okay. as, the, as my cover, yeah. my cover girl. Right. So with Patricia I'm just going to go over the edges and just colour the edges in. I've actually stuck her onto some um, mount board, which is, um, what's the thick board we've got? That's only 1,000 micron, isn't it? The, the grey board yeah. that we buy for the journal, journal covers yeah. are 3,000. I think this is 1,000 micron or 1,500. It's just thick card. Yeah, it's, it's so like chipboard. Yeah, so you could just back it onto a cereal packet if you oh, want. Of course to. you could, yeah. Other, other products are available. So there we are. And I've just put some double sided on the back. Mm -hmm. I'll put that there. I've got next. I've got my tall cards. Oh, these are like the bookmark ones. Yeah, the bookmarky type cards. Yeah. And what's on the back? Just remind me. Okay. So you've got some lines for writing, making yes. lists, bullet journal, and whatever. Yep. Yeah. I haven't finished them all. What I've done with this, all you need to do is print it out, fold it. I put some double-sided polymer on it that we use. Yeah, but you could <laughs> use glue or glue tape or, or tape. whatever. It's just this is much quicker for us. And again, just round the edges, give it a distress feel. Bentley's cake, Bentley's laid out here. He's got too warm. I know. It's a warm day today, and he keeps wandering in and out. He's not sure what to do with himself. No. So he's just laid out on the carpet where it's cool. <laughs> yes, he is. So there we are. So that's all those done then. So that's those. So that's the bookie marky things. It is. Oops, there is everything moved. Then I have my tags. Uh -huh. I've taken the liberty already of doing five. There are six in the two. I think they look great, you know, Mike, especially with the uh, the um, eyelets in them. Golden they do. Eyelets, and then somewhere to write on the backs. They've all been distressed already. However, I have one more left here to do again, as we did with the other other cards. Just fold it in half. Mm -hmm. I'll be bin monitor. Okay, you be bin monitor. 
and the glue's all the way around and then we just go around the edges as before just distressing it so we don't see the white it, it, I think it just looks a bit tidier if you don't want to distress you don't need to yes, we do say that it looks more professional yes but that's probably just a conceit by us it just looks finished okay and then that one and what we're going to do now Mike has brought me the copper dial up Not very well is our cropper dial at the moment. No, well we have had it for nearly 20 years. We so. have. There we go. I've got hundreds and hundreds of these off eBay. They're the 5mm ones, aren't they? 5mm ones, yeah. That's amazing. And then just... Give it a squeeze. It's amazing, your phone fell off the table. It did. There we are. Now that one's on as well. Excellent. Go there, put that away. It's all done. That's that. So what else have we got? What else have we got? We then have the little envelope labels. Okay. So these are the little like sticker envelope fronts. Yes. I've got them? one to do. I'm going to make one. Actually, make one. But if we have, there's the there's the six characters. Uh -huh. And the sixth one is here. What I've done, all I've done is a little bit of construction tape down the edges. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to, again, just a little, I'm going to kiss the edges. Mm. <laughs> Benny's just looked up then. I know. I think he wants a kiss. He always wants a kiss. He does. Just to take the, the, the whiteness off the edges. It may dress dressing tills a bit on a bit fluffy. Mm. And I'll just stick that on there, and I'll just have a look for all the other bits that I'm going to need. So I'll just put that on there, and there we go. Okay, so what's next? Right, okay, so we've now got the two little envelopes that, that I didn't show you these at the beginning because I forgot to, I forgot to print them out. <laughs> but they're actually on the same sheet as the little tickets and this is, the show is about to begin this way please. Mm -hmm. These are the envelopes the little tickets will sit in and then we hope you enjoyed the show that goes at the end at three more tickets sit in. Right. So they go there. Next I've got my tickets. I've already done most of them. There are six. Um, I'm just going to punch the edges, punch the end. I'm using a what size is it? Three quarter. Oh, that's not been used for. Oh, Mr. Buzzy come, fly just come. Because all the windows are open. It is horrible creatures there. Mr. Bentley doesn't like them. No, it doesn't. I'm not keen myself. And then just a little bit of distress ink. To grub it up a little bit and take the white edge off. Mm -hmm. Vintage it a little. So these these tickets are on are all on one sheet, aren't they? So theoretically, yeah. you could, if you wanted to, turn them back over again and print that grid paper. On oh the yes, back you as well. could. Yeah, I've I've actually you done that on the journal itself. Right. Because if you want to print, if you've got you want to make your own cards up, um, you could actually do use these. Yeah. Cut them in. Uh, leave them open. Mm -hmm. Put it back through the printer. Yeah. And you've got two cards for one then. Excellent. So you can just uh, use those. So that's the little tickets that go in the envelope. Okay. And next one we have the little pockets. So these are what we call the thumb pockets. The thumb pockets, yeah. Okay, so there is six. So there's three and two, that's five. And then the last one is here. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do with this one, I've already put a little bit of glue down. I've creased it. Right, can I just show? Right, yep. So when you print it off, that's how it comes out on the printer. There's like a, a circle shape there. Yeah. It bleeds off, so don't worry about it. Yeah, so that's a guide for where to punch it. It is, yeah. Okay, so obviously Ian has folded it, and then that's the lip where he puts the glue or the tape. It is, the tape's on there now. So all I do is off the... The idea of this, Mike came up with this idea, is that you haven't got a raw edge then. And you're not going to rip it. Yeah. Which looks very clever. And then I'm just going to punch it with my inch and a half punch. Right. 
So that's what the um, the circle, the size of the circle is. Yeah, it can give, if you want to use a larger one, you can do. Yeah. You could cut them out by hand if you want, if you haven't got a punch. Yeah. It's just a little bit neater if you have a punch. Well, they're easy enough. Yes. And what I'll do with this one, again, just round the edge. I don't want to make it very distressed, I just want to take the whiteness off. Mm. It's just a, a serving suggestion. It is a serving suggestion, mate, <laughs> indeed. And then on this one I just need to pop on some construction. I've got a new rook out, I've got a new roll out of the cupboard. <laughs> if I can find the end. It seems to last forever and then as you start to come to the end, it goes quickly. Yes. And of course the reason being the, the roll gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. Just borrow some scissors. I think they're probably going to need cleaning those Yes, I think they are, yeah. Oh, we've got some reversing outside. Yes, excuse the noises, like I said, it's a warm day today and we've had to have the windows open. Uh, but there are a few workmen out there today. We, we have our friend Chris is having a new patio laid. And then the people at the end of the road are having a patio laid as well. It must be patio time. It must be. Until summer's here. Finally. Finally. We go. So that is done as well. So that will go on the pile mm -hmm. there. Can you just bring that red liner, that red liner tape again? Of course I can. Okay. So um, we asked quite a few times about this red liner tape here in the UK. That's what we call it, red liner tape. But it's also known as construction tape. It's the sort of tape that you would use if you were creating or constructing boxes. Yes. So box construction tape. Sometimes it's not red. I don't know why, but this stuff just call it red liner tape and comes in different widths so if you're in the states and you're searching for it search for construction yes. tape or red liner tape in the in the states there's a company called crafters companion that do one there is. i don't think it's quite as strong as this one no it's not this is um, that's industrial stuff okay and these are the little openable journaling squares yeah journaling squares yeah cards yeah so there's snow's there, and I'll just finish the last one. All you do, cut it out, fold it in half. Actually, before I fold it, I should distress it. It's slightly easier if you do it before you fold it. As I folded the first set I made, I folded, and they're a nightmare. I should have to open it back out to do it. Mm. <laughs> so do it before. Do it before, yeah. I mean, I'm using vintage photo, which is my go-to for everything. Yeah. But there's tea dye, there's there's all different ones, isn't there? Yes. I mean, you could use a, a baby blue one if you wanted, couldn't you? Or, the or do you want to grab the, the new one in the cellophane? In the cellophane. Speckled or, hegg. Or you could use the new speckled hegg if you want. Speckled hegg. Which is kind of grey blue. Oh, I might give that a go on the, uh, on the one I'm doing in a little while. You won't touch it until I've played with it. Nobody touches it before I do. Let's see as quickest boys and girls. <laughs> so just down just down the spine. When you print it, there's a little a tiny little white line that shows you where to crease it mm. on the print. So all I'm doing is just doing that. If you have an inkjet printer, fine. If you have a laser printer, when you crease down it and if it didn't have the white line you get what's called crack out. And crack is where the toner doesn't go with the paper. It cracks. But it cracks. Mm. By doing this, you get rid of it. All gone. Hold on. So we have everything we need there. The only piece I haven't used on the sheet is that. Oh, the alternative. The alternative cover. Plaque. Plaque. Yes. Yes. Like Scutcheon. A like a commemorative plaque. Yes, but not. Okay. What I need now, I need some um, paper. I have ten sheets of paper re ready for this. Um, I'm going to use my parchment paper. Have you not? Um... Hang on. I'm going to use my parchment paper. It's the parchment paper I use to make all the um, journals with. The big journals. The big journals with, yeah. Right. So it's the same paper. I've got ten sheets here, but this is very flat. So It's ordinary. It's flat. It's very flat and it's very ordinary. So what I'm going to do, mm -hmm. I'm going to tea dye it. Uh, not tea dye it. Oven bake it. You're going to wet it and then dry it. I am. But with the magic of television, yes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it now. There we are. Look at that. How's <laughs> that for speed? Look at that. Just do the edges so we can see how wrinkly they are. Yeah. There you go. Had these in the oven last night, to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're, they are what's going to form the body of the journal. Okay. 
Just plain pages. Obviously. Just plain pages, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just put everything to one side and we'll make a start. Paper's ready to go. I've got all the bits in front of me. I was a little bit confused where I was going with all this. <laughs> There's so much of it. Mike, my assistant today, is putting the ribbon into the lovely tags. I've gone for a black ribbon. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fold all sheets. There's ten sheets, as I say. I'm just going to fold the ten sheets in half. I like to use the parchment paper, but you can use copy of paper if you like. It doesn't make any difference. This is just feels nicer and it's got a little bit of colour. If you want to make it for a gift for someone, you could pop your, your copy of paper and just put print some lines on it or some check paper. Do we call it check graph paper, is it right? Yeah, the graph paper, or grid paper. Yeah. So. And that would make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah, and the parchment is a, is a great paper to use if you can't be bothered with all the, um, the dyeing. But if you still wet it and oven dry it, it still gives you that wrinkly crinkliness that we all like. Um, but you don't have to faff about with the dye. Well, you can you can dye this paper if you want, but it's just yeah. I think it's just nice to. It's already it, got it a nice kind of um, ivory, mottled, aged kind of look to it. Anyway, it has. It has indeed. So, I mean, you can pretty much do it on whatever you want. You might even not want to use this ephemera set for a journal. You might want to use it um, in scrapbooking or in. Halloween. Yeah, or, or even use some of it for card making and stuff. Just like vary up, mix it up. It changes it, does the rest and all that. Is. So, okay, so we've got all the sheets now. There so you go. So there's your six tags. Lovely. Put the ribbon in now. So two, one, two, and nine, and ten. So that is all the pages. All, uh, Oh, nicely, crinkled. nicely folded. Crinkled. So I've got everything in front of me now mm -hmm. that I need. So, what I'm going to do, I also need my cover, sorry. My cover is going to be it's a 400 gram piece of craft card. Okay. I'm just going to it's quite thick, isn't it? Forward, yeah, right? very thick indeed. I'll just borrow the persuasion tool. I'm going to commit your crease. I'm going to commit my crease. It sounds like an indecent act. <laughs> okay, and I've also cut myself some elastic. I've got managed to find some lovely brown elastic on eBay. Oh, lovely. To what width is that? Is I think it's three. Three mil. It is, yeah. So I'll just tie that. I'm not sure what that is in Imperial. I'm sure some of you will be able to find it. And what I'll do is I'll just, would you just be a love and just grab that, that end there? Put a make. Let's grab that That's fine. And pull? Yeah, yeah, just pull. There we go. So, yeah, there we go. And I'll just cut. No, we can burn the edges later. We can set fire the edges later, yes. So just put that there. So go and get the lucifer. The lucifer, yes. I'll just slide these in. Not made it too tight. Sometimes I make them a little bit too tight and it is it. And it become a little bit difficult to put the stuff in. There we are. Oh, I'm back bearing gifts. Lights. Yes. yes. Fire. Fire. Bernie Bonfire. <laughs> right, okay, so all the pages are in now. Okay. Just ask Mike just to uh, just singe the edges of those elastic. Just quickly, that's it. Just that's it. Just stops them from fraying then. It does. It's actually quite substantial on its own. Mm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start on the inside, we'll do the cover last. Yeah. So on the inside front, we obviously we have the, the two cards, the two envelopes. Yeah. The show is about to begin this way, please. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put... In the front? In the front. Mm -hmm. Because obviously the show's about to start. So that will go in the, in the middle, like that. And then I will pick three. Any three, it doesn't really matter. I'll pick those three. So we have um, the man with the transparent skin. The Kraken Girl and Madame Isabella Dupont. <laughs> Fabulous names. Well, they all they all travel around with this troupe of uh, Victorian entertainers. Yeah. As if you watched the video last week, you'll know all about it. If you haven't, please check it out. <laughs> they all have a backstory to them. What I'd like to share with you as well while I'm doing this is I've designed some T-shirts as well. 
I have a Miss Patricia Beresford t-shirt. I also have, I think it's Sir Charles Jacobson. And I think it's that one, isn't it? The um, yes, Santorini. So. Yeah. Yeah, if you have a look on the website, they've got they've got all the illustrations on them. Basically, on, it's on your on my website. Yeah, basically they've got this huge this big poster that goes on the front on, on your chest. They look yeah. brilliant. Yes, I'm really pleased with them. I will put a clickable link in the description area below this one. So if you've already gone and got the digital download, you've probably seen the link to Ian's t-shirts in there as well. And so, okay, so that's that. So we'll put what we'll do now. We'll put in. I think our first pocket will go here. And I think what we're going to do, we'll put a tag in this one. The tag, there are three for each side. Is there three for each side, mate? You've got six. So. Six, yeah, three for each side. I try and divide them all up into the two halves of the book because if you don't, you can get carried away and it all goes in the front and there's nothing to go <laughs> in the back. I accidentally printed this on a piece of the, ch the checked paper I'd already printed out, so. Not to worry. Not to worry. What I'll do with this, I'll just put the pockets in and then we'll, we can dis decide what we're going to do. I'll go to the middle then, and I'll put the second pocket in. Mm -hmm. That one was a, was that one a pink one? That, that was, was a rosy one. Rosy one. So, so we'll have a, a pink rose one to go on the... Although this is kind of like a, 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 a weird and wonderful kind of collection, it's still got some feminine touches to it, hasn't it? Oh, it has. I mean, it could, if, if you were making it to give us a gift, you could actually make it for a man or a woman because it is so totally bizarre. Yeah. All of it. I mean, the characters on the characters are just weird. Yeah. Which is what I like. I mean, people say things like, you know, oh, well, it's that's got it's got flowers on it. You can't give it to a man. Well, of course you can. Men like gardening just as much as women do. Well, it's it's the whole Victorian vibe with this, though. Yeah. So then, at the very back, I need to put. On the inside back page, I need to put another one of these. I like to mix them up so you've got the pink ones and then you've got the yellow ones yes. as well. Yes. Oh, yeah, that one goes there. Bin bin monitor. Thank you. In charge of the bin. Okay. That's that one. So now we've got the ten pages between, and we know then. We've got to put these in. So these will be divided into three as well. So three there. Into two. Sorry, into yeah, two. Sorry, three of each. Yeah, sorry. My 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 silliness there. I'll use this side first. And I think we'll put in. What I've done is I've teamed up the cards. Oh, that's good. With the the little little labels. Kind of keeps it all together. Like keeps yeah. the theme going then, doesn't it? Mm. I mean, you can mix and match. There is no there is no rule. You can't do that. You can't do yeah. this. You can do exactly what you like. No right or wrongy. No, right or wrong. And what I'm doing is I'm going to go then to the back. So basically what I'm doing is I'm making sure I get it in the same place. Oh, are you, are you mirroring? I am. The front of the book to the back of the book? I am. Oh, well, the first half of the book to the second half yes. of the book. Yes. Right, okay, I understand now. So then we've got that one. <laughs> should, we, should we tell them about the conversation we had about the word bizarre this morning? Yes. <laughs> you know sometimes how you have those days when you look at a word and the spelling just seems wrong? and you're convinced it's wrong. So, so convinced, you have to actually go and look it up. Yeah. Well, that's what it was like for me this morning, looking at the word bizarre. I looked at it, and I was convinced it was spelt differently. I must admit, when I did it, I, I typed it wrong, and then I checked it on the old Google, good old Google. And the spell check. And the spell check, and it was fine. It, but, and it said, no, it said the, the, it's double R. I put B-A double Z. <laughs> Yes, it's a bizarre spelling of the word bizarre. It's an incredibly bizarre spelling. It's like bazaar. Yes. But not. Yes. Anyway, yes, so we had one of those episodes this morning where I was convinced it was spelt wrong and it wasn't. Sometimes it happens with the most strange words as well. Yes, it does. So you don't need a lot. I mean, we've put those in now and mm. it's starting to, starting to look really nice. And I'll put the... Might as well put the... A chappy in that one. I was going to leave it, but I think we'll do it as we go. It's well, yeah, I mean, if you start so padding it out now, fun. you can see what you've got left then, can't yeah, you? you? can. Yeah. And then the inside back, we'll have that one there. One there. That's in already. So, yeah. took spots. So, journaling card. 
And then we'll put Isabella Dupont in that one. I love these journaling cards, aren't they great? I, I, love, the, I love the brick. Yes. The, the, the poster kind of stuck to the wall. The old Victorian type. Yeah, love it. So then we'll put, I think, well, should we, how much should we put in there? I don't know. Short and, oh, it's decisions, decisions. I think we'll put another one of these there. Okay. And of course, when you're using plain paper, you've got all that room. So that if you want to write in it, you can either write in it, draw in it, bullet journal in it. It's a blank canvas, really, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Literally a blank canvas. Just making sure I've got the right page there. Am I there? Or is it that one? That one is there. So if I put one down, and the reason I'm doing that, I can feel where I am because your fingers go through, <laughs> so you know exactly where you are. So Excellent. that one goes there. Would you just put your finger in there for me, please? Thank you. So I think I may have just knocked the pages, but that's all right. Doesn't matter. Clumsy boy. They're they're all over the place anyway when you put it together. Yes. So we have that. So that one wants to go there. Am I right? Yep. Yeah. You've done a right, so you do a left. Yeah. There we are. There you go. Thank you. Just knock it up a little bit, make sure we're all yeah. fine. The knock test. It's starting to... Yeah, it's starting to bulk out nicely. Yeah, it is. So, Theatre of Curiosities. Isabella's there. And they are there. And then we've got these to go in. We'll put these in the middle. Put the two ladies in the middle, I think. And then we'll go from here, I think we'll put on here, we'll put another pocket, probably there. Another tuck spot. Another tuck spot. There is no right and no wrong. I'm yeah. putting it where I feel I want to put it. I mean, if you don't want any of the corner tuck spots, don't put them in. You can just put the, the thumb pockets in if you want to. Of course just you could, yeah. as many as you want. It's entirely up to yourself. I mean, there's, pl there's plenty to go at with it. Yeah. We've tried to make it so... Totally customizable. That's the page. There. Would That'd you be, be so the kind? Put your finger in there. Thank you. Yeah, customizable. If you don't want to do, you can make your own pockets if you want out of different materials. Yeah. If you want, if you want to do a bit of machining, machine the pockets on. Ooh, that's an idea. Because that. So then we have that, and we'll put we'll put one of these in there. So have you actually got more ephemera than pages? Oh no. But, Practically, <laughs> they'll have to go on the outside, won't they? Yeah, I think so. And we'll put that through there. And I think actually that's your last one. It is my last one of those, which is good. I heard the shake of a fluffy head there. I did. He's just got out of bed. Off the bed. Off the bed. Been in the bed. No, it's a bit too warm for him today to be in bed. Hello, monkey. <laughs> no, he's just looking at me as if to say, "What? What are you doing, what Dad? You, what do you, you want, want? <laughs> Dad? Don't." All right. It's embarrassing. <laughs> You're embarrassing me, Dad. Oh yeah. Put the corners there. There we go. Because you could always put a tag and a card together. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, in the the ones I've made, I've put the thank you. I've put the postcards in. Um, in some of them, and popped also popped all the other bits and bats in. Mm. We could also put old cinema tickets in if you wanted. Oh, Any ephemera you've got. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Holtz has got a lot of stuff, bits and bats out there. So mm. I mean, we're all, we've all got lots of our gear from him, haven't we? I think what we'll do is we'll put a full length pocket in. Some pocket. Some pocket there. Like that. I think you've missed one. Sorry? Just turn it back over again. Oh, I have. I did that before and I wonder why everything fell out the bottom of the pocket. <laughs> Didn't occur to me, did it? Would you be so kind? Thank you. Um, I'll have to... that one there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, before I forget, um, thank you for all the comments about the t-shirts that we had on the other day. On Was it on the vlog we did it? Oh, for the, the Clockwork Garden? Clockwork Garden t-shirts, yeah. yeah. Um, so again, as I said earlier, we've got, they're on my website now as well, the Clockwork Garden t-shirts uh, are on there. There's, there's, same uh, link down below. Same link down below. Just looking at that. Um, and there are four colours, I think. It's grey, spot grey, black, they white, go and have a look. red. Yeah, the go red out. is lovely. Mm. I love the red colour. So it's got two more pockets to look at this. There's hardly anywhere left, is there? I know. Oh. 
There we go. There? Yep. There. Yeah, the reds are really, really bright and mm. it's lovely. And you can just print as many of these pockets as you want and just maybe put something on every one if you want to. You could quite easily do that, yeah. Or don't put any on at all. And just hoard it. Yes. Just keep it and stroke it. Don't give it to anyone. Yes. Make it and keep it. They won't appreciate it as much as you. <laughs> so. I've said that before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's made cards for people, so I'm not giving that away. Yeah. Okay, so, we we'll just need to put our, our cover on there. Mm -hmm. As I said before, I'm using... You're going to use that? That one. Yeah. Rather than the, the standard one I used before. So I've just put a little bit of construction tape on the back. One. Let's move that out two, of the way. Three. What I'm going to do as well, I'm going to... Have you got some glossy accents? Would you just pass it me? Just pop a... A little bit of glossy accents on it as well, just down the centres. Just for a bit of added. Just for a little bit of added, added security. So, put it in the middle, just about there. Yep. What I'll do then, I'll just turn it over. And then just give it a push. Give it a push on the back. Glossy accents then will hopefully the job. Well, the, so, tape, well, the tape will hold it anyway, but and stop it from moving. But the glossy accents will set, and then just give it that extra yes, it will. rigidity. So we'll just run through it. So I've used the front panel on the on the front, the one of the two. The plaque. The plaque. The tickets are in the inside. The show is about to begin. This way, please. We have one pocket there with Mr. Jacobson. Mr. Jacobson. You keep forgetting to talk. I do, I'm sorry, I just yeah. get excited with this. <laughs> um, that's the uh, human automaton. Then we have the Countess Isabella Dupont. Obviously the card. Yep. And she's in a little pretty pocket there. Blank page there. Patricia. Yes. Another set of blanks. Then we have Marcus Woodgood with his journaling square mm -hmm. card. Because it's still lots and lots of space. Patricia again there. And you can add as much space for writing as you want, obviously, if you're creating one to give away. Yep. Like so I George. Said, the ephemera can be used for all sorts of different stuff. This is the weirdest, Miss Cressida Fox Tolbert. Yes. She had the right mess of a, a spell she was casting. Then we have Mr Wood, Woodgood, is it? The, the man that sends his skin transparent? Yes, yes, by concentrating. I think these, this is nice in the middle because it's just like a... Yeah. A really nice sense. You've still got all the space for writing behind oh, it. Yeah, take it off. Write journal. Yeah. Add photos. Yeah. Isabella there. Of the loved ones. The automaton again there. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it just feels nice as you go through. It's got that vintage steampunk. It's, I'd say for a man or a woman. Yeah. It's suited a little bizarre. It'd make a great Christmas present. Well, it would. Or, or birthday present. Or birthday or present. Or a present of any kind. A thank you gift. Yeah. I like that one. I like him as well. The chap that travelled through time and got stuck everywhere at once. So you can tell you your past, your present and your future. And then at the very back we've got, we hope you enjoyed the show and the three little tickets tucked inside. Fantastic. So like we said, so doing a quick count up with all the bits of ephemera and stuff that you get with it, it's 40 plus because we forgot two other bits. We did. Um, so it's around about approximately 42 pieces. Yes. <laughs> or thereabouts. So with this, I am going to give it away. Oh, right. I was going to wonder what you were going to do with I it. I thought you were. Yeah, I'm going to give it away. Uh, so just leave a comment below and then next... Tuesday? Tuesday, we will do a quick one of those, draw. One of those random draw things. Again. Random, a randomizer. Yeah. Um, and then we can... Uh, don't steal that, I can't remember that. No, well it was in shot. Oh was it? I've, it's written, I've written a note so I can remember what to say at the end of the it's video. It's a script, ladies and gentlemen. It is. I can't remember what to say at the end, I just get completely tongue-tied. Right. Are you going to add a little bit of distressing around the edge before you give it away? Yeah, I think I will. Just, do it now. No, but... just around the edges, mm, just, just to tie it together. Yeah. So, please leave a link below. Uh, please leave a comment, comment below. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button at the end of this video. Excellent. I think I read that properly there. Near enough. Thank, thank all from us and now 
see you again real soon. That's a bit, I can't read your writing. That's all from us. See you again now, now real soon. Yeah. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you. <laughs>